when you see somebody's individual assets or corporate assets, you have to have a hearing, you have to give someone due process under the Fifth Amendment, and you have to give someone enough resources to fight the fight. The ruling that ended up seizing Jeff's assets uh, was backdated and took place without his presence. Ex parte communications resulted in a hearing that he never was given a notice to attend. We have a fundamental right to be secure in our persons, papers, and effects against all unreasonable search and seizure. None of these conditions were met in Jeff's case. Because once you lose the money, you can't get it back for the most part because the receivers are immune, the court is immune. Number three is destruction of evidence and immunity, is the fact that he had friends, friends that declared immunity for all the attorneys involved that had touched Jeff's money at any time. As someone who's placed into receivership, you're cut off from your assets and the ability to defend yourself. How on God's green earth, in the U.S. court system, could a citizen be told, as Jeff was, you don't even have the right to an attorney. And worse, when you had attorneys, you're using them too much. The language of civil process was used to accomplish a virtual uh, uh, house arrest situation. Everything but the ankle bracelet. Really uh, a slave, at least in the sense that their property is not theirs. He's the first person to experience 21st century United States slavery since 1865. It is not a mechanism for debtors necessarily to uh, force someone into a receivership. And that's been hotly litigated and the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals has squarely held you cannot use the device of receivership to collect debts. This judge threatened to use the military, the marshals, which he actually used to haunt Jeff's mother. You have this, this guy, this judge, who just decided, as he put it in his own words, apparently there's a lot of money to be had here, quote unquote. But I'd say that there are definitely cases where you gotta say, what just happened? If Jeff got a heart attack tomorrow, he would have to ask permission by default because they're not done complying with the reversal. This is the United States of America. This sounds more like the Soviet Union. Rod Serling should come out and introduce the episode that week. But they still have to be objective, they still have to be impartial, and oftentimes if you're on the delivery end of a receivership, you find yourself wondering, the judge is just trying to force me to settle, or the judge is biased and has abandoned their neutrality in order to force a result in a case. As a lawyer, uh, unfortunately, I've seen more than my share of judges who do exactly that. But if you can take away someone's rights and go, huh, that was easy, and there's no consequence, none. Nothing happens, there's a problem with that. I filed an objection that, that was an absurd request. H how can we give you a million dollars based on this? You know, that's what I basically said to the court. You know, I mean, it's offensive. The precedent that's been established here is that the law is situational. We're taking a big step with Jeff. It's also wrong for anyone to look the other way because we're next. This is a test case, we know how those go. And uh, you know, it starts here and we now have to finish it here.